The first reactions are now coming through, given it's taken some time for each of the parties to sift through the 29-page document. Before we go to our guests, I'd like to say behind me, the first major protest really is happening here behind me in the hall two of the Le Bourget Conference Centre. It's the first real protest we've seen during this conference, unlike many of the cops in the past where the NGOs have been very present. But while they continue to protest, I'm now going to have two guests join me to analyse this text that's just come out on Wednesday. Joining me, I have Nick Maybe from E3G, the think tank, a European think tank, and also Abdiraman Ahmed, uh, Ethiopian delegate. Thanks very much for joining us. What are your thoughts on the text uh, with a quick review, really? It's only been a very quick review. Yeah, it's been a quick review, but it's done its first job, which was to produce something we can negotiate from. So there's uh, no one's going to, I think, reject the text, which is always a issue at this time of the debate. So this will be what we use to negotiate. It's still full of a lot of very tricky issues, and we've got to um, move them forward today. Um, but I think as a starting point, it's a good place to be. The question is how hard... Will they push for an agreement over the next few hours um, or will it be left to mature in a perhaps a bit longer space and allow um, leaders in capitals to get involved? Because I don't think they can make the agreement here. There's too much here that has to go back to leaders to, be, to, be, uh, to give new instructions because at the moment people are too far apart to agree on a text in a classical way. OK, but overall you're rather optimistic. Mr Ahmed, do you share the same optimism? <laughs> Uh, I will rather actually try to echo the voice of the civil society, uh, women, youth and the indigenous people uh, by saying that uh, we are quite, uh, uh, um, we are disappointed uh, with this text, but as Nick said, uh, we still have a couple of hours starting from eight tonight until tomorrow uh, to continue by pushing actually the, the, the needs of the people as well as the country are already facing the impact of the climate change. We know that uh, three quarters of the 900 brackets have been removed. For either of you, which is the bracket really stands out as the one that's going to keep negotiators up all of this evening? Perhaps, Nick? Well, I think there's a whole set of issues around um, transparency of people's actions here. Can we measure what people are doing? But also links to the transparency of money coming from developed countries and the scale of that money. Now, there are, there are red lines for China and India. There are red lines for the USA and Europe sitting in those paragraphs. The worst outcome would be they agreed to split the difference and have nothing. And that's, I think, where the danger comes, is that if the big powers decide it's all too difficult and they'd rather have a nice press release than a good treaty, then we can end up with something which disappoints civil society, the vulnerable countries. We've got to make sure we um, keep the pressure up to make sure we get something that works for everybody and actually is a workable, long-lasting regime because that's not a done deal at this point, but we can't afford a greenwash. Obviously, we can hear the NGOs behind us getting rather rowdy. Are they presenting the voice of Africa there? Is that what you believe? It's not only Africa. We have also Latin America, Asia, North America. All the indigenous people, as well as women and youths, are here today. And it's true. One of the major points is the financing. Uh, that is still left all the bracket when it comes to the financing, when it comes to adaptation, when it comes to loss and damage, as well as when it comes to technology transfer, are still there. Maybe the easiest bracket has been left, but the most important are still there. And we can say that the true negotiation uh, are starting now. Well, you've just heard it now. The true negotiations begin after four years in the making. We'll be keeping you. We know that everyone's meeting at 8 p.m. and we'll be updating you. 21 years of negotiations. Thank you very much, Mairead. Mairead Dundas with the latest from the COP21 climate talks.